Okay, so I just want to do a quick update um, about my mom and I. She, like, is very prone. She admits it to everybody knows this about her. She's very prone to being very dismissive, dismissive of people who she experiences anything but a good mood with, and she doesn't have much um, longevity in those relationships in that if they don't please her um, to up, up to her expectations and standards, and she's very quick to dismiss. And um, that was something I kind of asked her not to do, and it's something she did anyway, but it's not surprising. And um, and she just kind of was very vague about leaving. It seemed like kind of a setup when she left. She, I have it on text. I've already proven it, that we left on good terms. She, her last, last time I saw her, she texted me saying um, that... Um, it was very nice to see you. I had a really nice time. And then I guess she turned around and said I was yelling, but that didn't happen. That's why she can't prove it. But I did prove to you that in her own, her own words, it was very nice to see me and she had a good time. And then, um, and then, um, I didn't see her. And then, um, all of a sudden she sent me a text cause it was a heat wave. Maybe you could get supplemental formula. Now she can't give me money if I'm not there. Right. She said, I'll pay. I said, no need. Uh, I'll get it. And because there was a heat wave. And so I wanted to make sure he's not getting dehydrated or anything. It was very, very hot at the time. And, um, so I did get some formula and then she turned around and accused me of not getting the formulas. Fucking bizarre behavior based on nothing. Cause she hadn't seen me. And then, um, and then, I can't prove it, and even if I didn't see her, I don't have it, like, you can track the dates, I didn't see her, but even if I did, even if I, it's like, what was I supposed to carry it under my arm to prove it to you, you know what I mean, like, and she doesn't even ask, she just goes, yeah, you didn't do it, well, it was not her money, she didn't give me any money, also, I did prove it to her that I had, this is in addition to breastfeeding, okay? And it was because there was a heat wave. And, um, and then I didn't, she said, don't talk to me. And was really big and whatever, so I did it. And then it's been like three or four months. And then out of the blue, she just calls me recently. And is like, um, but I was busy at the time. And so then I just emailed her back and said, not really sure what you want from me because you didn't want me to talk to you. I'm trying to honor your space. And then she is, is kind of bizarre that she wants pictures of my son, but every time she gets them, she says the same thing. Eyes are still blue, still cute. It's getting weird. So I'm well aware that his eyes are still blue. He's my son. And of course he's cute. He's fucking adorable. I mean, I get validation all day when people see him. That's not, he literally stops traffic, like, many times now. I mean, he's, like, basically the celebrity of any grocery store. It's just, like, everyone wants to talk, and, oh, my God, he's so cute, blah, blah. I mean, constantly, like, I don't need this. And, um, but it's just very specific kind of thing, and kind of bizarre. And, um, so this is synthetic, okay, this is not asked for, but I do want you to know that she is asking me for the photos and then doing the commentary. So if we're trying to frame it as like she doesn't she doesn't know if he's cute or she doesn't know what color his eyes are. I mean, okay, it's kind of stupid. Um, you know, I'm pretty fucking aware that this is a, a absolutely beautiful, handsome little boy, and um, but but it doesn't make sense because for your story to work if that's what you're trying to do i would have to be saying hey could you look at a picture of my kid and tell me if he's still cute could you look at a picture of my kid and tell me if his eyes are still blue but she's asking me and then volunteering the commentary it's fake okay and then um the reason that i guess she was contacting me is so that i contact that guy justin she doesn't tell me why she sends a picture that she took print she, she tells me she went over to his house in Fairfax and that the dog led her there. Her dog, Max, led her there. And then they talked and she thought he was really polite and, um, and that she wants me to call him but won't tell me why. And I'm like, what do you mean, call him? This is a guy who spent literally like five minutes on my car. His friend is the one who did the majority of the repairs. 
So Justin and Sky. Now, if their Sky had any kind of drug rumors, let me ask you, why? If my mom believed that, or or even if she didn't, if she thought the guy was a liar, why would she want me to talk to him? And if she thought he wasn't, and that this guy is somehow up to drugs, why would she want me to contact him? See, yeah, it doesn't make any sense, right? Except it totally does to me. And um, and so her dog led her there, and then I guess um, she went and typed up all of his information, took a picture of it, and sent it to me and told me to call him. And I was like, wait, why? And she refuses to tell me why that I'm supposed to call him. And um, and then goes, don't talk to me anymore. I mean, this is like totally bizarre behavior. So I just write her back and say, I don't really know what you want. And then she says, well, send pictures. I send pictures of Wolfgang then. And I'm like, no, you either want to be in our life or you don't. And she said, well, maybe if you lived in Marin, then you could be part of my life. But send pictures of him. No, you either want to be in our life and take an active interest, or you don't. You don't just get whatever you want because you go and demand it. You have to pick a side here. So she wants me not to talk to her, but then breaks that herself and doesn't explain why. She wants me not to talk to her on the phone, to text her, but she does both, email her, but she does this. And then she wants pictures in addition. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I just said, at this point, I'm pretty confused as to what you want. And I'm just going to continue to honor your space. And if you one day want to actually be a part of our life, then that'll be another discussion. But for the time being, I'm going to continue to honor your space like you asked for. It's just bizarre, don't.